Hi, this is Michael Becker. And in this Tinderbox lesson, we're going to dig into yet another critical skill to ha that you'll need to have to be able to effectively leverage Tinderbox, and that's using export templates. This is part two of our export template process. And we're going to be specifically looking how to leverage uh, export code both within your notes as well as within the templates. And then there are a few other Easter eggs that I'll show you along the way. So let's just jump right in. So here you go. Um, we've got our uh, Tinderbox file here. And I've got a number of notes and capabilities. And we can look at this in Map View as well. Just pop over here. And you'll see in Map View that I've got an email um, that I'm writing called the TBX Tra uh, Training Patron Invitation. Uh, and then you'll notice I have a series of templates my prototypes and my configuration note. Now, one thing that I really uh, want to make sure that's important for you to be aware of is in this particular uh, training, I'm just going to focus on this one template email. Uh, for those marketers out there, um, keep your eye out. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll be launching a uh, total communications matrix uh, Tinderbox file and teach you, be, teach you, and I'll be showing you how you can actually manage a communications matrix program um, out of Tinderbox, which is wickedly cool. I'm, uh, I'm just uh, building it out right now for my job, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to, to build out. Now let's go ahead and look at the file in outline mode. And you'll see that we've got a number of files here. We've got the uh, the, uh, the primary email itself, um, but I've also created this concept called includes, where I want to have a standard salutation, supporting footer, uh, and uh, email uh, legal footer um, that I want to be including in all of my uh, various emails. I want to show you an example of how to do an, uh, a, an inline include from another note. Um, you know, you can look up the, how to create prototypes in some of our other trainings. Here are the templates uh, and then some config files. So let's just jump right in and show me show you this simple element right now. So initially, here's here is the note or here's the file. And this could be any note you want. I'm just happy to be using this email uh, temp, uh, template as an example. Um, so you can go in here and write your text or comments and hyperlink that text or content, content however you'd like. Now, given that this is an email and uh, specifically using it uh, for marketing purposes, um, in the sense that I'm going to help uh, my marketing team, for example, manage their communications program with this email and template, you notice I've created a number of custom attributes for this particular file. So, for example, you know, what's the name of the product we're promoting? Uh, you know, Tinderbox 101 videos. Uh, what's the trigger going to be for that email? Is it manual? Will it happen at some automated process? Um, uh, so that's an attribute we've created. You know, what would be the headline um, for this particular email? That you know, that would go, for example, on a headline image. What would the subject line be? What would the headline image be? What would the alt text for that image be? Uh, what would what's the type of this email? What what are the call to actions in this email? CM by the way stands for communication communications matrix. Uh, what's the uh, what's a file name that I might want to include in this email, etc. Now right out of the bat, what you might see here is something that's very, very important to be able to learn uh, in Tinderbox is you can pull in what's called action code. Uh, and specifically, ex excuse me, not action code. You can pull in what's called export code. And in this case, what export code allows us to do is pull in values from our attributes and other aspects of our files into uh, various elements of the solution uh, uh, of Tinderbox. So in this case, I'm using export code to pull a, va a variable from my file's attributes into the name. So in this case, I want to be pulling in a uh, communications mail merge uh, field. And you'll see here when I go and look at the preview, there it is right now. It's pulling this attribute file name right into the file. So that's a really important thing to be able to do and, and leverage. And I use it all the time, especially for my academic research. Um, and it, it, in addition to that, uh, you know, let's take a look here too. I'm going to show you from this other example. You can also pull using export code values from other notes, not just this note. So for instance, you'll see here, I've got value name, Tinderbox training patron invitation in quotes, uh, specifically the straight quotes. Uh, and so here's the name of that file. So look what's happening now. If I hit preview, it's saying uh, example pull in value. Tinderbox training patron invitation. So I'm pulling the name uh, of this note into this note. Uh, and so that's another way I'm leveraging export code. Now watch this too. I could also type it again. I can go value. And this time I want to pull in the uh, communication matrix subject, uh, subject line. Okay. And I'm going to uh, use the same uh, name here. Pull this in with the quotes. 
and put the quotes there and close it out. Now what's going to happen? Um, it's not going to work. Let me show you what happens. So preview. Huh. It didn't work. Why not? Well, it didn't work because we have smart quotes, quotes turned on in this file. And you'll see that this, my, um, my little straight quotes turned into these curly smart quotes. So what you want to do is you want to, I've got a, um, a, um, there's a couple ways you can do that. I've got text expander. So I have text expander just automatically, um, convert, uh, when I type S Q for smart quote and automatic oh, excuse me. Let me do it again. S Q. It automatically converts uh, that to a uh, straight quote for me. And then I can just go ahead and paste those in. Now, what happens though, when I do that, and I'll show you it working first. And then when I do that, you'll now see it's now pulling in the subject line from that other email as well. But you'll see if I go in here and I edit the text, uh, the smart quote uh, uh, quotes will invariably change at some point and you'll find that it doesn't work again. So there you go. See, it just did that. So if you want to fix that, uh, uh, what you can do is go to smart quote. And while this file has focus, you can uncheck smart quotes, uh, that uncheck smart quote box. And now you can e uh, edit the file to your heart's content. The smart quotes won't change. Um, and so you, you now see me typing those smart quotes won't change as long as this file has focus. And I don't have to worry about my straight quotes becoming smart quotes. Um, and again, if I go here, you'll see that that value is pulling in. So this is an incredibly uh, ex uh, um, useful uh, element of you know, pulling in and integrating values from Tinderbox. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you here is importing images. So let's say I wanted to import an image right here in my file. Well, again, using um, uh, my text expander, I'm going to go ahead and type the word image. Now, this is going to pull uh, a whole bunch of quote code uh, out of my uh, text expander. And using that same method that I just showed you, I'm now going to be pulling a whole bunch of uh, content from the variables of this note as well as, as I just demonstrated to you from the configuration note. So I'm basically building my media path for the images that I'm going to be pulling from my hard drive um, through a whole bunch of export code includes. And I'm also including conditionals. So for example, if the file has a file name, then go through and, and process this uh, element. Now, if I go over to the configuration note here, you'll see that the path for pulling uh, uh, images off my hard drive and the me uh, local media directory um, I've specified in this configuration note. So now if I go back to this image, whenever I want to include an image in a file, I just time. put the file in the, um, I just put the file name uh, in uh, the file here. I type in uh, uh, my uh, export code and then voila, I can go ahead and hit preview and tinderbox will now automatically include my picture in the email um, now what i can then do is just hit Control copy a and now paste that into an email paste that into a um into a uh, um, an another file or a mail merge file now the other thing that you might want to see here too which is interesting in this file is you notice when i hit preview uh now look what's happening here I, you know, you don't see any of that table or any of that, uh, that element up here, but when I hit preview, I've got all of these email attributes, uh, organized in the file. Well, let me show you what, how that's working and, and what, what's happening with the export code here. So if we go ahead and hit command one, you'll see here that I have my, um, HTML template that I'm using is the comms matrix email template. So if I now go over and look at that template, um, you'll see, here's the template I've created and uh, basically right here, I'm saying include for this particular email, uh, this uh, template. So what's happening is now if we go pop to this template, you'll see what this template is doing is automatically constructing uh, a table to go on top of my email by pulling in all of the various variables from uh, my um, uh, yeah, from, from my attributes within that particular note. And what's interesting here too is we're now using action code uh, export code to actually perform an action within the HTML uh, template. So this is pretty exciting. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm using action cap you know I'm using HTML uh, uh, or export code action capability to then use action code, in an HTML template to process uh, attributes, 
build out a table, and then insert those into uh, my uh, output. So that's a pretty exciting um, way about going about uh, building a particular file here. So again, I'll go ahead and show you then. Here's my note. And because this note, this field has this one line, include this template in this particular template. And so basically take this and you know, pull this file into this template when you're rendering the image. And so that is what's happening here. When I go ahead and hit preview, it's automatically rendering this table on top of my email and then uh, showing the rest of the email here. Now, what's happening here? You see Identity Praxis Tinderbox training videos is my, what I'm calling my alt text. So, and the reason why that's showing up is I've got alternative text that I'm displaying, but there's no image. So if I now go and look at my email template here, you'll see that I'm asking Tinderbox within the HTML code to insert an image. And I've also put in the alt tag for this HTML. So when the HTML can't find the image, it displays the alt text. So that's what's happening here. Uh, now let's go look at the email again uh, in preview mode and show you a little bit more about what's going on. Now, if I scroll up, You'll also see now my signature. Sincerely yours, Michael Becker, Tinderbox trainer, self-sovereign identity, privacy shaman. Uh, need help? Point to the Tinderbox file. And this is where I'd put a bunch of legal stuff if I had anything to say. Um, so again, let's go back in our note and we look here and we say, but wait a minute, none of that context, none of that images is happening in this note. Well, wh wh where's that coming from? Well, guess what? I've got these standard includes that I referred to at the beginning of the training, my salutation. All right, sincerely yours, Michael Becker, Tinderbox training video, etc. Um, and I can go ahead and you know change the spacing if I want to make that uh, a little tighter when it when it shows up in the emails. Um, I've got my support footer uh, that I would want to be putting into every email as a standard, and I have my uh, legal footer as well if I had legal language. Now, hopefully, you'll guess by now. Well, how do we do that? Well, we do that using includes. So you'll see here include this file, and then here's one other thing that's really, really cool. Now, include this file and apply to this file the, the other HTML template, um, HTML email footer. And so another powerful thing that's happening within Tinderbox now is not only now telling uh, uh, Tinderbox through export code to include a particular file within the rendered page, but I also wanna now have the export code override whatever the HTML uh, standard template for that page might be. So for example, if you look here where it says email salutation, if I go look at it, the standard HTML template for email salutation is HTML page. When I look at preview, it renders like this. But when I actually render it in my um, email template, I don't see the CM salutation. Um, and I'll show you an example of what would happen here. If we go here, here and we remove this code right here from email salutation. I just go like this, and then I go and render the uh, the page. Look what happens. Um, it's gonna scroll around, and then it says email salutation, because what it's doing, it's using the HTML template of that page when it's including the file and inserting it in all of its glory. But when I go down here, and I tell it to don't do that, what I rather, what I want you to do is override that page's standard template with this particular template. Um, and that template is essentially this, which says just include the text from the file. Um, I then go ahead and get this. And so now you'll see email that the header goes away. I just get my salutation. I get the help input and I have my legal stuff. So this is hopefully showing you some of the just incredibly powerful capabilities of Tinderbox where you can be constructing really complex um, exports pulled from multiple files that include not only values from this particular note, but values from a variety of other notes, uh, pulling in images um, and using a, a, a wide range of other capability. Um, one other thing, and I'll demonstrate this to you uh, in a future, uh, I just want to show you one other Easter egg right now. Um, when you look here at this table display, um, we're actually using a lookup function, a dot operator called lookup, which is essentially pulling, if we go to the configuration note here, you essentially see what it's doing is it's basically using a lookup table to pull 
uh, the attribute names, and then the label I want the, uh, to be la uh, labeled in the table. So that's how that's working. So later, if any of you want to try to um, uh, uh, reconfigure that on your own, well, uh, before I prior to do that lesson myself, I just wanted to share that little Easter egg with you. Um, so this is a very high, pretty quick overview on how to leverage the more advanced capabilities of um, bringing in uh, export code for your uh, your files. And again, for me, just in summary, um, even if I'm not intending to export it out to an HTML file, um, I, I, I use this process constantly. So for example, if I go ahead and now open up my email and I create a new email, uh, or better yet, I'll create a Word document because maybe I want to send it to my um, my marketing team via a Word document. I'll go ahead and go here, New. Okay, so here we go. We've got our Word document. So now what I can do is I can, all I need to do is go Control A. I copy all of this HTML code and I can paste it right into Word. Whoops. Let me do that again, sorry. Copy A. And now that it's on the clipboard, it's gonna ask me for security practices to uh, pull that image in. Okay, I'm gonna grant access. And there you go. So now I'm basically able to take all that HTML that I've produced in Tinderbox and pull it right into, uh, into a Word file. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Likewise, if you're using a, uh, uh, a marketing campaign management platform, uh, like a MailChimp or a Constant Contact, you can pull all this HTML in and drop it right into the, uh, the, the marketing campaign platform and it will work just fine. So there you go. I hope that uh, lesson works for you and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.